Good morning. This is Frank with the Morning Quick Shot, brought to you by Trade Stockers and Ninja Pro Traders. It's Friday, October the 21st. It's about 7.40 Central Standard Time. So for about the next five, six minutes, I want to give you targets to the upside, targets to the downside, and possible areas of consolidation, and we'll take a quick look at market profile. We're going to start with the ES. Looks like they had it open last night at uh, 36, and you can see that's just followed by a lot of consolidation. Just we can squeeze this up. You can see just a lot of consolidation yesterday. We had to move down, we had to move up, move down, and then right back up into it, and then consolidate sideways for the night. So as we open, it moved right back down. We're at overnight low. We reached a 28.75, and then we had an overnight high of 38.50. Have enough tough time to get back up into this high of yesterday of 40, 40.50 looks like. So where do we go from here? We're, since we're below the 24-hour view up and we're below this zone, and it's just a real tight spot to this uh, overnight low. You know, that's what to keep in mind yesterday's overnight low is the bottom of this zone here. We're just probably going to keep consolidating until we break out above it. So actually, it's kind of good for us this morning. The intermediate uh, uh, resistance and support is, is good for us. So if we can break above this 24-hour VWAP and hold up, go above it, come back and retest the top of this zone, First target should be the 36 area. Look for a pullback again, probably 34 area. And then if bulls are really going to stay pushed in, we should come up and easily touch this 38 target today, 38.50. Pull back to retest the bottom of this zone in last night's open and then move into yesterday's high of 2040, or excuse me, of uh, 21.40.50. And then right up into uh, this next zone up here from 41. 41.42 area. Now we're looking to get into highs up to 44 today. If the bulls really step in on this Friday and see what happens, if we could get up into here, look for it to come back and close down on a 43. Okay, and then push right up to this next zone. 47 is our big big target for the day. Uh, likely the high of the day, but it could try to push up into the next zone. Not likely. We have too far the targets up zone, and you can get those from us later. Now to the downside. If we should fail this 24 hour VWAP. And come right back down, test this, look for this third bottom, maybe even come down and test this uh, 28 level, and then pu push up. They're probably just going to work our way down to the bottom of the zone for a double bottom here from this structure all the way over here yesterday at 10 o'clock in the morning. This would be a good area for this to push straight back up and reverse on us and go into a long scenario. However, if it pulls up, pulls back into here and stops right again here, at this 2875, this 24 hour view will be working its way down. And if it touches it, look for the downside move down into here below this zone, possibly 24, 22 area. And look for the retrace up into here. It needs to hold this, needs to close above this 26 to go up. Otherwise, we're going to continue back down. You know, there'll be some minor, minor stops, uh, delays in, the, in from yesterday's zone, but that's all as it moves into this zone here. Lower today, if everything just really goes bad, is probably the 2116 area. Now, there, we do have large targets lower, but they don't expect it. Of course, triple bottom would be this 2106, 2108 zone. So keep an eye on this and be smart. Now let's take a look at the market profile for the day. All right. Much like we've been looking for all week, this is the daily chart. 14, 40 minutes, you can see we're moving back up after this double bottom, almost a triple bottom here at the, the 2107 area. Moving up, we still need to get up to this 47 area and close above it, all right? A little bit of a zone here, probably between the 41, 47, makes it pretty tough area to get through as you've seen. And we're right back in this area this morning, trying to get through this 40 zone as well. It's uh, starting to build some momentum here and at a lot of volume in this area right here at this 42, 40 area. So keep an eye on that. If we can get through that, it might just give us enough strength to push on up. Again, if we could break through the 47 high, if it really, really went high up today, max today around 2160 psychological levels, good resistance level right in here. Otherwise, we're looking to fail back to this 21 level. And if it fails below it and closes below it, that's where we're going to start looking for these other targets at 16 and all the way down to 2107. On a four hour chart, you can see we're just consolidating between this 8 and 47. Just be real cautious with us. We see nothing new on the horizon. This is Frank with Trade Stalkers. If you have any questions, contact me at frankatradestalkers.com and have a great day.